This is the Capilano watershed. It provides drinking water to a third of the Metro Vancouver region, and in 2014, this water will receive UV treatment. For that to happen, a decade-long construction project has created two parallel tunnels to connect it to the Seymour filtration plant. The tunnels are seven kilometers long, and in 2012, the lining phase of the project began. Each morning, the focus shifted to Anasis Island, where 680 tunnel liner sections were stored. This steel pipe liner uh, has been designed to be uh, installed in both ends of the tunnel. In proper order, the pieces are lifted up by a massive log sorter. Each liner weighs 31 tons. No, let it keep rolling, keep rolling, we got more room here yet. The main purpose of that machine is for forestry and because of the size of our pipes we can we found that it is capable to fulfill our requirements. The 12 meter long liners are settled precisely into position. Each truck is having an engineered cradle to carry the pipe. Each workday, four liners are loaded and trucked out. The heavy load is carefully hauled through busy traffic, blending in with the many large rigs that ply the roads. And over the Iron Workers Memorial Bridge. The process was similar in the early 1950s when large valves were transported to the Cleveland Dam construction project on the Capilano River. Far fewer vehicles were on the route then, and it traveled through Vancouver and over the tolled Lions Gate Bridge. Both truck drivers are part of the teams that help supply clean drinking water to the region. Arriving at the work site, the installation crews take over. I've never experienced something like this before, dealing with large pipe and, and sinking it 600 feet into the ground. Inserting the long liners took some planning. We need to put the pipes on the an angle to lower it down to the Simo chamber. A device has been engineered and constructed with the winch system to bring pipe from horizontal to almost vertical. That belly strap enables you to pick it up flat and then your winch line enables you to vertically get the pipe into the right position. It was, it was just a combination of a lot of things and a little bit of fear because you're dealing with 70,000 pounds. Below ground, another team is standing by. And hold there, hold there. Operator at the surface and also the operator down below. Walker, hold there. Both monitor the three-dimensional location of the pipe and also what is the weight of the pipe. The pipe is prepped to travel almost seven kilometers on miniature rail platforms through to the Capilano end. Through 2013, liners will also be installed in the twin tunnels Seymour end. It's been a good project. I got a good crew and I, you know, that's the major part of it. We are seeing light after the tunnel and uh, we are closing the, to the end of this project and everybody is excited. Completion is slated for 2014.